Footy Balls presents Four American Football Plays Which Showcase Rugby Roots. I think any American who loves American football also loves rugby at least a little bit by default. I mean, you just look at the field with the goalposts and you can tell that these two sports are related in some way. They both have very obvious similarities in terms of scoring in the end zone, kicking goals through posts, violently hauling players to the ground to stop forward progress, have an unusually oval shaped ball, and its players don't fall to the ground and pretend to be mortally wounded at the slightest hint of contact like another sport called football. Rugby football was brought to the Americas, first in Canada and then the United States in the 1800s. Americans basically control seed, control veed the rugby at the time, and then made progressive changes until American football became its own sport. Rugby is basically short for rugby football, and Americans decided to keep the football name instead of the rugby name. Interestingly enough, Canadian football was also known as the Canadian Rugby Union as late as the 1950s. Anyway, Buried within the rules of American football is fossilized evidence that American football is a direct descendant of rugby football. I'm going to go over four examples of this that best highlight the kinship between these two amazing sports. Some might not be so obvious, while others you might already know about. But here we go, the top four. Number one, the drop kickoff. When we think of kickoffs in American football, we envision a kicker hitting the ball from the tee. But the only stipulation is that the ball has to hit the ground and be kicked directly after it does. Hence, we get the possibility of two very similar kickoffs in rugby and American football. Number two, the drop goal. Doug Flutie is famous for his drop kick extra point in 2005. And there's a reason why so many people love it. It's totally legal, and it shows a clear connection not only to the olden days of American football, but also to its older sibling rugby. Drop goals in rugby are much easier now due to the ball being rounder and having a more predictable bounce. The last drop goals in American football were in the 1940s. That's because in 1934, the ball was made more pointed at the ends. This was done in order to make the ball easier for quarterbacks to throw the ball as it had become an important part of the game by that time. Number three, goal for mark. In rugby, like American football, it's possible to call for a fair catch. In rugby, it's called a mark and can only be done in the defensive 22 meter area of the field. As you can see from the example here, the player is able to catch the ball without it bouncing in his own 22 meter area and then immediately kick the ball away. However, as late as 1978, in rugby, it was possible to catch the ball without it bouncing in any part of the field and take a shot at goal. That shot at goal was worth three points. This rule that was directly copied and pasted from rugby usually goes ignored. It just doesn't make sense to kick the ball right after you catch it with the down system in American football. It is used a little bit when there is a little time left on the clock by the end of the half. The last time it was successful was in 1976 and has been tried about 9 or 10 times since then. Number 4, Lateral Passes. So a quintessential part of rugby is not being able to pass the ball forward and moving the ball by passing it backwards and running the ball. But after you pass the line of scrimmage in American football, this is also a very important part of American football too. I wish they would do this more, and again, it kind of goes back to the four down system and not wanting to lose the ball, but as you can see in these examples, when it's utilized, it looks really good, and it looks a lot like rugby too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This was the first one I really made in a long form, and um, so I'm learning a lot like about video editing and stuff, but Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to try to make a lot more of these. I think we're seeing a lot more American fans of rugby, and I love it. So, yeah, keep checking out, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.